Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm Johnny from Pitch, and I'm gonna do my first unboxing today, seeing that I'm like a YouTube star and all. Um, this is a bird dog system. This is a PTZ camera system that stands for Pan, Tilt, Zoom, which is a remote control system for controlling cameras. So this is the bird dog uh, P200 camera. We're loving these things at Pitch because it means that we don't have to have many people standing by cameras all day, and one person can operate um, multiple cameras. So I've never actually used these myself, embarrassingly. So we've got this cable here, which looks like a um, RJ45 going to one of those little weird green things to what looks like a DIN plug. It looks like an S-Video connector, but it's not an S-Video connector. So the mystery will be solved later as to what that actually is. I'll put that to one side. Some pointless packaging with a cloth and more pointless packaging. I was in the Apple store yesterday getting some new stuff and I tend to unpack things and leave all the packaging behind because I kind of object to all this pointless stuff. Um, cable tie, little cloth I assume for the lenses. Uh, cool remote control, quite a nice one. More unnecessary packaging. So what have we got here? Let's take a guess. I'm guessing that's our pan, that's our tilt. That'd be our zoom and there's our focus. So that looks quite good. And then camera select. So presumably this can control multiple cameras and we can do everything on here. So that looks pretty cool. And white balance, it's almost like a wireless CCU control, which is quite cool. CCU, for those of you who aren't as nerdy as me, stands for camera control unit. This is a thing where we can sit in one place and control the settings of all the cameras. That's critical because it means you can get things like the white balance and the exposure and the iris balanced. So as you cut between cameras, it'll look the same. Right, more foam, more foam. Right. It's not quite like buying a new iPhone. Um, but to be honest, I'm not that bothered actually. What we want is good gear. Yeah. Oh look, that's a free rubbish bin there. Um, chuck all the gibberish in there. Now, here's where things get interesting. So we have a power supply in here. I feel like Bird Dog are perhaps a better camera company than a packaging company, but that's to be expected. Okay. What is that? Is that an American or a European plug? I'm not sure. But we've got adapters, so it's fine. Right, here's the camera itself. This is the exciting bit. Okay, so, feels pretty good. It feels like a mixture of aluminium and molded plastic. Nice big chunky lens on it and some good fixing points. That looks like about an M8 bolt or it might be the thread that goes on, um, on, on tripods. Uh, SDI output, which is great. CVBS, I don't know what that is. Audio in, audio out. Um, I presume audio in would then feed the audio down the SDI feed. HDMI out, great as well. We generally don't use that because we normally find that HDMI signals have more latency than SDI, so, but it's there if we need it. Then RS-232, that's the control system that goes back to the controller. And then USB for firmware upgrade. Uh, infrared select, didn't realize it's infrared as well. Looks quite cool. And then, yeah, that's it. Let's take this tape off and see how it feels. More unnecessary packaging. Okay, it's got a nice fluid movement to it. I can see that it spins from about slightly beyond that, beyond vertical, all the way down to pretty tight. And it seems to spin about 360. No, we're like at 340 degrees it's spinning around. So that's the Bird Dog P200. Uh, we've had four of these turn up today and I'm quite excited to, to use them on today's show. Thanks for watching.